Hey guys, in this tutorial, I am going to show you the prestige of file structure. So, are you guys ready? Let's start the today's tutorial. So, let me show you the first prestige of project folder. So, actually, I have already opened that prestige of project that we have created in a previous tutorial. So, if anyone who still haven't saw my previous tutorial, then just click on a link that I have given in a description box. I just check out my previous tutorial. So this is the PrestaShop folder which includes first admin directory. So this admin directory gives us direct access to the back office of the PrestaShop. So this admin directory also consists of the sub directories like first is the auto upgrade which contains the one click upgrade module. The next one is the backups. So this backup directory contains all the database backup files. The next one is the export. So export contains all the data export files. The next one is the file manager. So it's just for the sources for the file of the back office. The next one is the import. So basically import contains all the data import files. The next one is the themes. So themes includes default and new themes or the themes which we have used in our project. The next one is the apps. So basically app directory contains all the configuration and resources files. The next one is the cache. So cache includes all the temporary cache files. The next one is the classes. So basically it contains the legacy classes which contains container, controller, then database files, then different modules. The next one is the controllers. So basically controller directory contains two sub directories like admin and front. So basically admin directory gives us direct access to the all the controller files of the back office. Then front directory contains all the controller files of the front office. The next one is the docs. So basically docs directory contains all the CSV files or the all the imported files in our project. Then next one is the IMG directory. So basically IMG directory contains all the images, logos that we have used in our project. The next one is the JS directory which includes all the javascript files next one is the mails so basically mails contains all the text and html templates for the emails which are sent by the presto shop next one is the modules so basically modules contains all the installed modules or the default modules which are provided by the presto shop the next one is the override so basically override directory contains all the classes, controllers and modules that we have overridden in our project. The next one is the themes. So basically all the template files which are included in that folder. So basically themes contain classic folder or classic directory contains the subdirectory like assess. So assist contains all the CSS and JavaScript files. So if we want to create a custom CSS and JavaScript file, then we need to create in that folder in CSS and JS. The next one is the tools. So basically tools contains all the development tools. The next one is the upload. So this upload directory contains all the uploaded files of the customizable product. The next one is the var. So basically var directory includes all the cache, logs and session files. Then at the last there is a web service directory. So this is an endpoint of the web services API. So this is the folder structure of the Presta shop. So just look over this folder structure of the Presta shop. And if you still have any query dubs, then just ping me in a comment box. 
and we'll see you in the next tutorial goodbye take care happy coding